Hey, hello, uh, this is Chris Cal out territory agronomist for the Cal Grow here in West Central Illinois. I'm here in a field uh, today that's about V3, V4 corn, so gonna be getting its post application here pretty soon. I've been getting a couple questions the last day or two around the necessity of throwing a fungicide in with that uh, post application on V5, V6 type corn. So just wanna make a couple comments about that. And really the question comes around uh, crown rot. So a lot of you know I've been doing some crown rot work the last couple of years. What I would say is that from what I've seen out of doing, you know, probably 20 to 30 comparisons a year for the last three years, I have seen a benefit out of the V5 fungicide, V6 fungicide being thrown in with the, uh, the herbicide. And it, it does have a slight impact on reducing the amount of crown rot. Uh, it's not huge, uh, but it does have a slight impact on it. We do also see a positive uh, a yield for it. So my data after, after all those comparisons the last couple of years has been pushing right out about uh, four bushel. So it does deliver a nice positive return on investment. Obviously it gets a free ride from the application standpoint. Um, you know, if you think about the weather we've had here recently, uh, about May 2nd time period, we went through four days, five days of kind of wet, cold weather. Um, this past weekend we were cool and, and several areas were damp, some more wet than others. Um, we've got rain again in the forecast here tonight uh, into, into tomorrow in the next couple days. So the environmental conditions right now are kind of fit or right, if you will, for the infection to take place. Uh, what we don't know at this point is how the grain fill period is going to play out. And really, that's the biggest impact that we need to think about in regards to, um, you know, how, how crown rot will really, how, how much of an issue it'll have this year is how much stress we have during grain period. You know, we don't know what kind of full, you know, what foliar diseases will have or to what extent. We don't know what kind of impact the environment may have or those foliar diseases on our photosynthetic capabilities of the plant to fill the ear. And, and so this V5, V6 fungicide application is absolutely not a replacement for a VTR1 fungicide application. It is supplemental, it is an, in, an extra application, it is an extra cost. I understand that, uh, but it does have uh, some benefit on crown rot. We do have some environmental conditions right now that are conducive to the infection taking place. Um, but you know, we just really don't know how the rest of the season is going to play out. Uh, but I just wanted to share a couple thoughts on it, uh, this evening. Take care. Thanks.